Oh my gosh, she's already cleaning up our house. Please marry me. What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey in PGK and I love colorful things. So we're back playing another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge, Gray Generation. It's a challenge of The Sims 4 where you have one family that you play for 10 generations and each generation is themed after a different color. If you're interested in the rules and playing along, the link will be below. So this time we are finally ready for Skylar to find her person, her one true love. I'm really excited for Skylar to fall in love. So I've been asking you guys to upload your characters into the gallery for Skylar to possibly meet. I have the like attractiveness mod on. It is clearly working as we saw last time with the whole like she was kind of attracted to her second cousin or whatever. I'm gonna kind of let Skylar choose. So I'm gonna download all of your guys' sims, see who we run into, who see who she vibes with. So it's all about me playing matchmaker today, setting up my favorite girl Skylar. Let's hop in. So I'm not even gonna go into the family yet. No, no. I'm first opening the gallery and I'm putting in the hashtag Kelsey not so berry. Make sure to use that hashtag whenever doing anything for my not so berry challenge. All right, here we go. We got some Sims. Ooh, okay. This Sim is gorgeous. Liz Mile says meet Liz, funny, sweet, and definitely a neat freak. We need that. We need that. They have to be a neat Sim. That's the only requirement. Liz has wanted a, a big family and just moved into a new neighborhood. She crosses paths with Skylar at the gym and they become friends or maybe more. All right, we're putting Liz Miles into a home. You are now gonna be living here. Congratulations on your new home, Liz. Love that for you. Okay, moving on. Wife material. I mean, she looks like she could be. Oh, she's neat and she loves to be active. This sounds very promising. Maybe we'll have you be a roommate to our Miles. I'm missing a lot of CC, so we're gonna have to give some of these Sims makeovers. Oh my gosh, look at this Sim. Ooh, Delilah Walters is a neat Sim. Is cheerful and an art lover. Cute. Delilah Waters is a family loving, neat, cheerful and art loving girl. She's looking to meet the sim of her dreams and settle down, have a big happy family. Clothing and hair almost all from Clumsy Alien, which is perfect because I mostly have Clumsy Alien stuff. So we're going to be moving in Waters, maybe to our next door. Or maybe in with this crook. Wait, I'm sorry. Where did Cannon go? Cannon's not there anymore. Where is Cannon? Did he get married? Is he with someone? It's okay if your ex, you know, starts dating someone else, but I love to check up on Cannon because it's important. I'm gonna move her into here. I need to track down Cannon. I'm so curious as to where Cannon just ran away. Cannonito, where are you? Oh my God, where did he go? Am I gonna hunt down Cannonito? Maybe. Okay, I have not found him. There's almost too many worlds, but. We'll We'll track him down. We'll find out if he's dating someone or where he's moved to. It's not about him today. Okay, we're moving on. Oh my gosh, Lyra. Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous and she loves family and she's active and she wants to be a super parent. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And she also has a hair that I believe I already have. We'll move her in next door, you know? She actually has all CC that I have. That's smart, you smart. I'm like hoping to find at least one Sim that has like a family already. It'd be so cute if like, the Sim already has like their own kids. Transgender beauty. Oh my gosh. Taylor Daniels gorgeous and has a little kid. Taylor always did everything the neat way. Fell in love, got married, had a beautiful daughter, but something never seemed right. She felt as if her mind was going through the motions, but her heart was never there. After Mackenzie was born, Taylor realized why she was unhappy. Now she lives her life free with her heart and mind, finally looking in sync with her true love. Will Skylar be the soulmate she's looking for? Taylor can get Prince Sims pregnant. That is awesome. Awesome. Okay, a possibility. Let's let's put Taylor down. I feel bad putting Taylor down with all these trees, but wait, this is so cute. Casey and Skylar met on an intramural basketball team, and shortly after, Casey introduced her to her twin, Riley. They got along so well right away, both understanding each other's love for family. Riley had Kala when she was young, and her other parent isn't in the picture, but she's always wanted a big family for her. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, I like these two as well. I always act like seeing Mashuno's nearby, even though, like, because we're always in there, so maybe we'll just pop them in there. Look at this, single mom for Skylar. Oh my gosh, Ray Garcia. Ray is a single mom of two amazing kids. She's confident with her life as a mom and a teacher. But when she meets Skylar, her whole world changes. Is Skylar ready to be a mom? Will be love at first sight or will Skylar be the one who got away? All right, I'm moving them into San Machuno. Okay, I think this sim looks very 
cute. Stacy Malone. I like Stacy a lot. Maybe Stacy also should live. Oh, and here, there you go. Well, thank you guys so, so much all for giving your Sims in. I have all the Sims in the world. So now I guess it's just time to see who we run into, who we click with. It's dating season. For Skylar, for Skylar. So we're back. We just had, I think, our birthday. Skylar's birthday, that's right. Yep, she is now an adult. It looks like we're exhausted, so why don't we go to sleep? Oh, actually, before you go to bed, I'm pretty sure there's like a parenting influence to sleep. I think that's like another thing you can do to up your parenting skill level. Cute! Okay, yeah, I think that did help with her parenting skill, which is perfect. All right, we're going to bed, and then we'll get some food. She went to bed, and then she got right back up again. What day is it? It's Winterfest Day today! Oh my gosh. Are we gonna have like a Hallmark Christmas movie situation where, you know, like maybe Skylar and Amethyst go out on the town and they meet neighbors? Why don't you go do your homework since you're such a good girl, Amethyst? Oh, she is such a good girl. Look at her cleaning up all of mom dishes. I can't wait till we have more people in this house. I'm really excited. Although we're gonna have to expand for like a bigger amount of children. Excellent. She's staying in her mom's room to read her book. It's so cute. She completed her homework like a good girl and now we're going to have her go to bed because I want everyone to get a good night's rest because we scouting. We scouting tomorrow. We're hitting these streets and we're not going home till we find a wife. <laughs> Sorry. We're awake. We've decorated for the holiday, so that's good. Why don't you cook a grand breakfast? That way, uh oh, it's noon though. Even better timing for a grand breakfast, honestly. I love how Skylar's just not a big holidays person. She doesn't really particularly love anything about the holidays, but Amethyst loves the presents and Father Winter, so we're definitely gonna have to do that. Oh, quick question, Katie, you know, I was planning to spend some time together. Should I do it? Maybe they're together. Maybe that's her canon way. I'm gonna be like, listen, I don't think I should be the one to make that decision for you. So I'm not sure, okay? Why don't you you make that call yourself, girl? Oh, she still finds me extremely attractive. <gasps> he did get married and he moved. He now has a spouse, Caitlin Ito. Why is that breaking my heart? <laughs> Why am I kind of heartbroken? Oh, look at her. She's got the overthinking mood lit. Wow, same. Same. Right now, in fact, I am overthinking my Sims' relationships. It's okay. We're going to find an even better person. What just, what was that noise? We're going to find an even better person for Skylar. I hate that I fall in love with Sims that I'm not allowed to have in the challenge. Maybe we should go wake up our daughter now. Go wake her up gently and be like, good morning. Oh my gosh, and we just farted. She wafted it. I never have wafted a fart. I don't know why so many, all my Sims fart and waft. But we're going to wake up our little daughter and be like, good morning, it's breakfast. We got a fancy breakfast for you. It is technically 1.30, so my daughter, you know, it's time that you did get up. And both of us are hungry, so it's perfect timing. Yay for a lovely Winterfest Christmas morning. Oh my God, no! Oh no, Ragtime just died. No, not on Christmas! No! Oh my God, this is so sad. They're both going to witness the death of Ragtime. This is so sad, poor Amethyst. Oh no, this is so sad. Jerk darkens our door step coming to grab a sweet baby angel rag time it was over too soon oh my gosh amethyst is not gonna be having a very good christmas today oh my gosh poor oh my gosh poor rag time Okay, I don't know where we're gonna put the tree. Everything's pretty cramped, but we could like put these things in our inventory maybe and put the tree there. That probably makes the most sense. All right, we got our holiday tree. Let's light the tree together. We'll hopefully get a little bit of Christmas cheer out of this situation with our daughter because no, Grim, you're not, go home. Do not watch TV at our house. You're not welcome. Okay, we're not welcoming death into our home for Christmas, not today, okay? He's like giving us the hand. Hand. I'll give you the hand. Okay, we'll do, what are we, in gray? Maybe blue and white? And then we'll do a little blue and white garland as well. We're decorating together. They're doing it very carefully, which I love. So that's nice. Although this looks kind of dirty. Is it just because our house is so dirty? Because probably. Oh, that looks nice. We put like a little topper on. Oh, they're both just being sad together. This is so sad. Why don't you place some presents under the tree? Okay, 
there we go. So Amethyst says, when I grow up, I want to be a ninja. Maybe she's like wanting to protect the house because of Grim just came in. Get a ninja outfit, okay? You got this. Oh, our manners. We fell out of, I knew I shouldn't have mixed it up. We really want to work out or go for a jog. Our daughter's super sad. This sucks. Let's open the presents early. Let's add a present and then open presents together. And we're just gonna open presents early because I think it'll make Amethyst happy. Amethyst, don't go off to bed. Oh, she's gonna go cry it out. Ugh, oh my gosh, okay. Well, let's shoot. We found out Kid and Ito got married to someone else. This sucks. We're gonna go cry in bed too. This is a nightmare. How's Amethyst doing? She's gonna go clean up her food. <laughs> Such a good little girl. Oh my God, is Yamachan in the house again? Yamachan went in the house, but left. I can't with you, Yamachan, I can't. We need to open presents together, okay? We need to get in the Christmas spirit a little bit. We might be a little too sad to go meet our love interest, I guess, today. So maybe we'll just stay at home. We'll go out of the town tomorrow. We're getting all the presents stuff done. We got some festive spirit, because we decorated. It's gonna still be a good Christmas. You'll be okay. Why don't you tell your daughter that she'll be okay? We're gonna be okay, even if it's just us two. Maybe sing about Winterfest. You know how we love to hear you sing. Maisie Grobe, Craybell. You're such a good singer, Mom. <laughs> Look at our daughter also singing. Okay, we're gonna teach her some stuff because we're gonna work on our parenting right now. Oh, and there's Santa! Look, 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 it's Santa! He's here! Go, go talk to Santa! Wait, why is he leaving? Excuse you, sir, sir. Our daughter would like to, oh, some words with you. Oh, he's putting presents under the tree for us. Go talk with Father Winter. Can we give him a Winterfest gift? Give him a, one of your emotion potions. Be like, I made these myself. That'll be so cute. She gives Father Winter a Winterfest gift. Oh, he gave her a present, but she's super sad. A floppy the gnome. Oh my God, mom is having beef with Santa. Please don't. Oh my God, see, like she just got beef with Santa. Why are you being so sassy to Darius? He's hurt because she was mean. <laughs> Skylar, yeah, maybe you should just like go have a little workout, cheer yourself up. Let your daughter be happy about her gift from Santa. This is cracking me up. He's like trying to talk to us while we're working out or like, um, I'm sorry, I'm doing this for my mental health. Who's here? <gasps> it's dad! Dad's here who's married! Oh my gosh, go ask dad for advice. That's so sweet that even though it's late on Christmas, he still came to see his daughter. Even though he's married, he has his own family now. He still came to see Amethyst on Christmas. Cannonito is honestly the best. Give him a Winterfest gift of your emotion potion. <laughs> She's just giving everyone some emotion potions. Meanwhile, mom's going to cry it out. She's had a rough day. He liked her present. I've never seen Cannon say no to a present, even when it was bad. She's telling him everything. She's talking about school. She's talking about that dog died. He's walking her inside. He's like, it's raining. Let's go inside with your mom. Skylar, what are you doing? Rummage for, don't rummage in the, oh my God, Skylar. She's like, who did this mess? You did, Skylar. No. I'm sorry, I didn't know today was Amethyst's birthday. Amethyst aged up? No, this is not allowed. I don't have the right hairstyles for her. Ah, uh, I thought next episode was Amethyst being a teen. Everything is not going according to plan. Okay, so her other, or non-committal and dance machine. I'm gonna give her dance machine next because I just feel like she can get, get early with her dancing skills. It's Renaissance Sim, so that's great. I can't believe that we're already here. All right, Renaissance Sim. Oh my gosh, Amethyst is a teen. Stop it! I'm shocked. Amethyst this is a teen and she's hysterical. Great. Ah, okay. I'm fine. This is fine. Oh my gosh, Amethyst. Why'd they age you up with like, ugh. we could give her this one or this one. I do tend to use this one quite a bit. This one's nice because you can age it up. So maybe I will use this one. So we'll maybe go with this. And then hair, unfortunately, I currently don't have any CC hairs that come in those colors, I don't think. Here, let me let me see. Some of them have like the upgraded, like tons of colors, but yeah, none of them have like bonus fun colors. So we're gonna have to maybe go on a hunt for some. But in the meantime, I feel like we have to go here, which I do not like. 
like, I do not like this at all. I'm trying to see like what feels the most like a teen. She looks a lot like her mom. She definitely has like a, a similar face shape for sure. Let's go back to skin details. I kind of like halfway finished. Maybe like these or maybe even these. Yeah, that's even less. I was like, we'll give her more lashes when she gets older, but I think I want her to look pretty young. This is kind of close. I don't dislike this option. I need more hairs. Maybe this one? Oh, that one's nice and it has like deeper plum at the end. And it actually reminds me of when she was a little girl. She had similar hair to this. We're gonna go with this for now. It, we might actually stay with this for a while, but I do want to get like other hairs in the right color eventually. But she just still looks so much older. I wonder if it's like the skin details. Maybe we should just swap the skin details out for like this one. That one looks better, I think. Anyway, let's go into the eyes. So I always use these ones. I want to make her look young, but also like cool. Maybe this? I don't know what to put my sim in. I would have like thought through Amethyst like personality, you know, like what do I think she would wear? Is she preppy? Is she chilled? I kind of want to give her like grew up ballet dancing and then got into like dancing for musical artists, if that makes sense, kind of energy. Oh, this is like kind of a cute little plum dress. Oh, <gasps> that's cute. You know what? It's been a minute since we've worn this, so I'm, I'm totally fine with this. This makes me happy. Oh, these cute little loafers do come in purple. Maybe that one. And we'll give her little socks too. And I'll do little white ones. I'm gonna go with the black tights. There we go. Now for formal. That's really cute. Let's do that. And then we'll do another little flat or something with it. Athletic wear. We're gonna do something cool because we're wanna be a dancer. Maybe we'll do le leggings with like a little slouchy shirt. That should be okay. There you go. That's fine. All right, party wear. Maybe we'll do something like this. That's kind of cool. It gives her a little bit of style, I guess. These like purple sneakers. Those are cool. Swimwear, we'll do kind of just like a little one piece that's cute. I wish I would have pre downloaded that preteen mod, but I guess I could still go and download it like now and see. Cute. Cold weather. All right, I guess this is good enough. I can't do it right now anymore. I can't. I think I need the preteen mod. I think I need it. And she's sad because no one remembered her birthday. I did forget your birthday. It's fine. Amethyst is now a teen and she's sad. So let's have Amethyst go to sleep and cry it out. Skylar's bonding a little bit with Cannon. Well, maybe they should take a photo together. You know, they never did. And I feel like that would be really cute. These two are old friends. Maybe we should ask him about his like recent an engagement. Oh, look, she's crying though. That's so sad. Okay, we're gonna go sleep because this was a fail of a day. So thanks, Cannon, for coming by. Our dog died. Oh, he's cleaning up the house. Good for him. Taking the trash out for us. Our winter fests were successful, so that's cute. And he's gone. And Skylar technically is wearing like the same stuff that she wore as a teen. So I'm gonna have to give her a makeover, but maybe in the next episode. She's gonna go shower in her mom's room. Now that she's a teen, I feel like I should probably start focusing on her generation. So she needs to master dance and two other skills if you're choosing at least a level eight and six skills. We're gonna finish three books. I feel like we could be sneaky about it and make sure to choose skills that aren't that hard. But we obviously need to master dancing. We'll start with dancing because it's easy. Wait, she just had something with Cannon. Is Cannon here still? Oh, he came by in the morning. Probably because they're in mourning because they're probably sad. Oh, you should give your dad a hug too after you finish eating. No, Cannon! No! Cannon, don't blow a kiss to... Stop! Stop. He is married too and he's still flirting with her. Oh my God, they're such a mess. But she's giving him a nice little hug. Okay, we're gonna eat our food and then we're gonna go out, okay? Do we have work today? We don't, it's very convenient. We're gonna go out with our daughter. What else am I missing from the gray gen? I'm just realizing I probably need to focus on this. So master singing, parenting and athletic skills. Master athletic computer and complete bodybuilder aspiration. We did that. Have three filled relationships before finding your spouse, marrying a seat. Meet Sam, we're working on that right now. Be good friends with all of your children. Are we good friends? Yes, we're like best friends. And have family night, movie night with your spouse and children every Sunday, which we'll do. Okay, so that's really all we have left is the marriage. And then we will technically be on to Amethyst Jen. This went so fast. Go take a quick little shower and then you gotta go meet people. I know you're sad, but you gotta get out there, all right? Gotta meet some people. We didn't download all these Sims for nothing, okay? Okay, she's really sad. You know what'll cheer you up? Going out. We're going out. 
stop crying in bed. We're going out. Maybe the park, because then we can go on a hike. I think there's like a hiking trail near there. So I feel like maybe she'd go out. She'd be like, all right, Amethyst, you and dad have a good day. I'm going to go on a hike. Okay, we're going to scout. Hike scenic loop. Let's hike the scenic loop. She's got two more days of mourning the pet, but she's got a lot of other things to be happy about. We're just going on our little scenic hike through the wilderness, hoping that someone shows up. Taylor Daniel, I believe is one of your Sims. So let's go find Taylor Daniel. Go get her. Taylor's here. Let's go see if we're attracted to Taylor. Brighten Taylor's day, maybe. Why are you so uncomfortable? Are you okay? I'm just a little bit down. Oh, cute. Did you, Taylor just get flirty though? Wait, oh yeah, that's Taylor. Taylor has a kid. That's right. Oh my gosh, she is really cute. Okay. Ah, perceived as basic looking. No. All right, what about Kaylee? Basic looking and also has a spouse. All right, moving right along. Okay, who's this? Ray? Oh, Ray Garcia. Ray Garcia's here. Ray Garcia, go introduce yourself to Ray. I need to know if you think Ray is pretty. I think Ray is pretty. <gasps> oh, I thought that was an attractiveness alert. It was just the jester personality attack. Oh, but they bonded really quick. Okay, basic looking. Those were the two Sims I was excited about because they already had kids. You're gonna be a hard one to crack, that's for sure. Liz Miles, go introduce yourself to Liz. Unfortunately, Liz does not have any hair. I'm gonna have to put some stuff on Liz. Perceived as attractive, okay, Liz Myers. Miles might be it, okay. I don't remember what Liz Miles' aesthetic was, unfortunately. I remember wanted a big happy family. And Charlie Lynn, okay, they live together. But Liz is very pretty, I like Liz. I think I like this one the best. I think this is probably one of my favorites. Maybe this, yeah, that's pretty. Wow, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What should Liz wear? Oh, that's pretty. Let's maybe put this on Liz. And then for cold weather, we already have that. So we'll just give some, some bottoms. All right, I really like Liz. I think Liz is really cute. We'll probably have to like add more to Liz as, as we go, unfortunately, because a lot of the CC has been lost. But overall, I think Liz is gorgeous and it could be Liz, I don't know. Okay, where's Liz? Where's Liz? Where's Liz? Do we still find Liz attractive after the makeover? I need to know. Okay, we do. Oh no, Liz is upset too. What's Liz upset about? Let's brighten Liz's day. Liz looks like she needs attention. Oh, Liz has got the caregiver and she's neat. This is perfect. Look who it is. It is our ex, our first love, Jesse and Peachishme. Older and wiser now as well. All right, I think it's time to go home. We've had like kind of a mess of a timeout, but we did meet Liz. We aren't that close and we just find Liz kind of attractive. Oh no, maybe not the moment to fall in love. Go home. I'm sorry I took you out. I thought it would help help your sadness and it did not. Uh, well, it's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Oh, and now you're playful. Now you're like, I'm fine. I'm going to play basketball. Jerk. It's late. I should sleep. It's 8.30. Amethyst likes to stick to routine. It's not the weekend, so Amethyst shouldn't be up right now. This is very funny to me. I don't think I completed any of her. Oh, no, she is quick learner. Skylar's vibing over here, playing basketball, gonna work out. She's feeling inspired. Let's maybe take down the, the Christmas tree and put back our old stuff. Stuff is back in their places. Amethyst is being our little smarty girl, as usual, just having a good time, working on her logic skill. Skylar's gonna go work out. Oh, she likes him pop music. Okay, cool. That's cute. Maybe you should try to dance. You are a dance machine. Why don't you go dance a little bit? You haven't danced since you were a girl, so. Yeah, she loves it. She got her dance skill. She's feeling super inspired. Look at her cute little dance moves. Oh, she's so awkward. She's trying to do her little dancey dance. <laughs> Probably like, mom, did you meet anyone? Skylar's like, I didn't meet anyone today. I just find everyone just attractive. The only person I found extremely attractive was your father. All right, let's get some homework done after you finish eating. You don't really need to sleep this second. And also this will actually help her learn stuff too. Ooh, logic, okay. And we learned the writing skills. See, so many skills. Mischief, video gaming, writing, dancing, charisma, learning everything. Our brand new teen amethyst. Oh, and we went to work without me knowing. She went to work just to go to work. Sometimes Sims can do that. I'm like, I don't like that. Amethyst finished her homework. Good job, Amethyst. All right, can you do extra credit? No. All right, what other things can you do? Let's go to bed. Oh wait, there's a disco nap. 
You could disco nap. That could be funny. That's way cooler than just sleeping. This is taking your disco nap. Oh my gosh, I need to upgrade her room. I need to give her like a little room makeover now that she's a teen. All right, she's going to bed. Justice Amethyst is waking up. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take a minute. I'm gonna go find some good hairs and we'll be right back. One eternity later. Okay, I'm back. I found some good hairs. Thank you to the followers on Twitch for finding some purple hairs for me. So this is Amethyst now with the new hair. I'm obsessed. I think she'll grow it out as she gets a little older, but I think I figured out the preteen mod. Yes. So I'm going to make her into a preteen. Yes! Okay, welcome Amethyst Mary to being a preteen. I'm so happy. Oh my God, this is amazing. For the next couple of years, you're going to be experiencing some changes. Don't worry, Amethyst, it's completely natural. You'll do just fine. Look at her, she's tiny. Oh, I love her so much. Look at the little bead. She still looks like a little too old. I'm wondering if it's her skin details. No, I don't think it's the skin details that much. I I still think she looks pretty young. I don't know, literally, I can't tell you what it is about her that looks like older because I didn't add any makeup. I just changed her brows. I mean, maybe like the flatter hair makes her look a little younger. She looks like a little awkward. It's like her awkward tween years. I like it. Okay, I think that hair makes her look a little younger. So it's our little tween, she's a little short. We got the preteen mod going. I'm so excited for her little preteen moment. <laughs> Amethyst Berry. Oh, she's a middle school C student. She hasn't done her homework. Of course not. Why don't you do your homework? Oh my gosh, look at little Amethyst. I'm obsessed with little Amethyst. Oh, I think this is perfect. I think this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> but I do think we might wanna update her bedroom like a little bit since she's not like a kid kid anymore. So maybe we should take out this little like science-y set and maybe like the toys. And this probably is a no as well. Maybe like a little desky desk so she can do her homework at it would be cute. Maybe I could put this one here, move this to somewhere else. And then we'll put like a little chair. Oh, I love this cute little purple one. Very cute. Maybe we'll put some purple little items that she might want as a teen. These little books here could be good because she's really a smarty pants. And then maybe we'll upgrade the bed. That one's cute. I like that a lot, actually. I think that's nice. Oh my God, chat baby's getting older. Oh my gosh, we're super inspired. So cute. Okay, she's gonna go use the toilet. And then we need to finish reading three books. Are there any like skill books? There's the fitness one. There's handiness. I don't like any of those. Why don't we purchase some new skill books for her? Charisma. I feel like charisma definitely makes sense. We'll do snowboarding. We'll do like those two right now. We'll do snowboarding first. She wants to read about snowboarding. I wish I started young snowboarding. I, I did skiing and then I just could not get the handle of snowboarding after learning to ski. She started a new book. Oh, it's the charisma one. All right, that's fine. You can work on the charisma book. That is fine with me. No, don't do your teen homework. Read your snowboarding book. Just finish reading a book. No, no, stop it. Okay, just read something. I don't care what it is. Just read a book. We need to finish three books and you won't finish a single book. She keeps switching books. She is anti-book reading. Oh my gosh, she's now gonna watch TV. Well, if you're gonna watch TV, at least watch a channel where you can learn something. Well, we got lots of time for love for mom and also for her to do her homework. Oh my gosh, is she starting her period? <gasps> her first period? Oh my God. It's your first period is coming up. Oh my gosh, she's getting so big. All right, this sim won't finish a book. So I guess we'll work on dancing. Maybe you will dance for a while. Skylar is really stressed because she's having work withdrawals, but you work in four hours. So you should just get over it. Oh, she's gonna go work out. I feel so nervous right now. Is it because of your first period? Look at how cute she is. She's so little. Ooh, she reached level two of dancing. Good job. Why don't you clean up some things and do laundry? You'll be doing the chores. You'll be a good girl. I love the preteen mod. I was like, I don't need that. And now that I have it, I'm like, this is all I needed. Clean it up after mom who's like learning to dance. Look at her. She's vibing. Oh my gosh, look at our preteen taking photos of herself. Wash laundry, girl. Go wash your laundry. Okay, Skylar, why don't you go get some food? Trying to keep the house clean. Good job, Amethyst. She's such a a good kid. Skylar's got work in an hour, so we don't really have much time for her to like meet more of your guys' sims. But I feel like I want her to kind of meet a little bit of all of them. I'm honestly very bummed about Ray and about Taylor. I really was rooting for Taylor or Ray. But basic looking, ugh. Oh, I love that they're just vibing, chatting together. Oh, and then mom's working. She's gonna go to work. 
It's like, bye, we got a big game today, sweetie. But you go have fun. I just want her to read a book. Can you please do that? Please, 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 please Amethyst. Amethyst, just read the book. Okay, thank you. Skylar's boss offers her the chance to do extra training. Um, yeah, she's gonna take the training, obviously. Is someone here? It's dad! Oh, and my dad in. Of course, bummer town, US. Oh, did we not fix that outfit? I'm sorry. What is this cold weather outfit? I could have sworn we gave you a purple one. Oh, she looks really cute in all of these little outfits with her little preteen body. She's so cute. Okay, I think maybe this one might be good. And then we'll do like maybe these pants. Maybe she just wears these and some socks. It's bothering me that this isn't a coat for some reason because they do live in a very cold place. So I think this is fine. I don't love the jeans, but it's fine. I think it's fine on her. <laughs> now she's reading the book that I asked her to when I have her want to go talk with her dad. Now she's like, oh, well, I got to finish this book first. Okay, well, now we're going to go talk to dad. Go talk to dad now. You're finished your level two of snowboarding. There we go. Look, oh, she's so much shorter than her dad. How cute is she? I don't understand why Yamachan's here, but it's fine. Oh, she's really tired. Talk about interest. Ask for birthday money, it would be really funny. She'd be like, can I have birthday money to go to the movies? <laughs> Yamachan just casually walking by them. Oh my God, he gave her 86 simoleons? Cannon! Why don't you take a little disco nap? Who is this? Oh, Charlie Lin is here. Okay, why don't we friendly introduce ourselves to Charlie Lin? I don't know why Charlie Lin is here, but Charlie Lin is one of your Sims who doesn't currently have any hair. So we'll have to pop some CC onto Charlie. Charlie is super cute. I, for the most part, have your outfits for Charlie, but Charlie does not have hair or a top right here. So Charlie has kind of like a blue gray kind of makeup look going on. So maybe we'll do match that with the top and then we'll do hair wise. I like this hair. I feel like Charlie suits some short hair, but also could suit some long hair. I kind of like this, this like top knot kind of bun thing for Charlie. I think that's cute. I think for the most part, we have most of the same CC, which is kind of awesome. We don't have the swimwear that you chose. So we'll just do a quick little bikini moment. Yeah, something like that. Hot weather, we do not have your bottoms. I'm assuming if it's hot weather, they're gonna be short. Maybe like this kind of short looks great. Okay, and then cold weather, we already have that. Oh, but it doesn't look good with the hat. Okay, we won't do that then. Like this? And then for normally, it's up like that. Okay, perfect. We got it. <laughs> Charlie just came on over. It's like, hey neighbor, maybe Charlie's friends with Cannon and Cannon's trying to set us up. When are you home, Skylar? Okay, Skylar's almost home. So this is perfect. Cause we got a girl here. Charlie Lynn's here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're here. Friendly introduction. It was nice to see you. I have to go. He literally left as soon as she came home and introduced Charlie to her. Oh, she's stressed off. Okay. <gasps> wow, what a sim. Skylar Berry just stop what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Charlie Lynn. This woman has so many of the qualities that make Skylar's heart race ah, as if it were a cross country marathon. Their beautiful features meet Skylar's desires so readily that it's almost as if whatever created such a sim sculpted her specifically for them. Look at it, she's so nervous. She's like, oh my God, who is this babe in my house? Now the only thing left is to pick their jaw off the floor and work up the courage to speak to such an Aphrodite. Hopefully Charlie will be kind enough to reciprocate Skylar's feelings. Ooh, Skylar is crushing hard. Oh my gosh, we found it guys. It's Charlie, a super duper buff queen. Charlie, don't leave, please. Charlie, please, will you stay? Ask to hang out. Hey, you wanna hang out a little bit? My daughter went to bed, so we're just chilling. If you want to hang out, she's like, yeah, I'll hang out. I mean, of course she's a neat sim, but like I need to know, no, no, you know? Ask about children. I don't have kids. Okay, she doesn't have any kids right now. I'm open to the idea of having kids, great. Okay, she's the lover personality type. Oh, she's a romantic, she's adventurous. Okay, that's cute. Oh, don't hug her, don't hug her, that's weird. That's weird, don't, don't do that. What's Amethyst doing? Amethyst is like, oh, okay, who's this girl? They did hug, awkward. Oh my gosh, she's already cleaning up our house. Please marry me. <laughs> Please marry me, Charlie. Please marry my Sim, okay? Please marry her. Compliment outfit, be like, I love your outfit, it's really cool. Ask about her career. That's probably a good one. This is not going up very quickly. It's a pleasant conversation. She's unemployed. Okay, well, she could be employed later though. Or she could be a stay-at-home mama. Whatever she wants to do with her life. Okay, at least she's still hanging out. She hasn't left yet. Okay, she is neat. She's just, she's adventurous, neat, and active, and she wants to find her soulmate. 
so cute. Oh, maybe she's not into us though. Does she find us attractive? It's a boring conversation. Oh no. Maybe Charlie Lynn is not gonna be into us. Maybe throw in a flirt and just see what happens. Charlie Lynn, are you into it? No? Oh, she's like, thanks for having me by. Amethyst is meanwhile playing more in the rain. She's level five of the logic skill. She is so flippin' smart. I think she has ADHD like me because she won't finish a book in one sitting. And I can relate. I can also not really finish a book in one sitting. Oh, she finished the book. Okay, we finished two out of three books. Amazing. I'm so proud of you. We're we'll also just let her work on the charisma skill because it'll be helpful for the challenge. She'll just be a very charismatic, good at dancing, intelligent little bean. Oh, she's taken everything to the hamper. She's so clean too. She's gonna chat on a kid's chat room. Good for her. Get some social up. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. She loves party spirit and counting down to midnight and mom loves none of it. As usual, she's not really into holidays, but our little amethyst loves holidays. So that's sweet. Okay, I think that's enough, sweetie. I think you should go to bed since it's 7 a.m. and your nights and days are kind of mixed up. And I'm actually gonna leave this one right here. We do have like a potential love interest in Charlie Lynn, but Charlie Lynn is not really acting like she's into us as well. So we might have to keep looking just to see if there might be someone that is into us too. But we'll keep, we'll keep maybe like chipping away. Maybe Charlie is a little guarded and needs just a little bit of uh, attention from our Skylar in order for her to come around. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really happy that we got the pre-team on to work for our little Amethyst. Let me know what you think about Amethyst in the comments. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye!